Welcome to our advanced GIMP tutorial where we'll actually show you a way how to do digital black and white conversion. It's quite an easy effect to do. We'll start by opening up an image that you might have seen before on a previous tutorial. We'll open that up and we'll show you how we'll be able to do the conversion here. Now you can do a saturate effect in GIMP as well, but what I like to do is create a new layer. So we'll go over here and we'll go ahead and make a new layer. Uh, we'll make that transparent, that's fine. And from there, we'll also create a layer mask. So go ahead and add a layer mask to this layer. Make sure that it's set to white so it's full opacity. And you want to change this layer's mode to saturation. And by changing this layer's mode to saturation, you'll be able to change the opacity on the saturation on the layer. To get the saturation on the layer, you'll go over to the bucket tool and you will put in black on the actual layer itself. And this will create the saturation of the layer. And you'll be able to see the entire layer is in black and white. Now, you can set the opacity on this so the effect is not that dramatic. So you can have some, some color, you can have less color, all the way up to 100%. So you can change this as you will, instead of just using the saturation effect, which will be one time only, you can use this to great effect to choose the granular control over the black and white conversion effect. Now what you can also do is with this and having the mask, you can go to the original layer itself, use the scissors tool, and you can pick out parts of the image you want to have in color itself. So if you see here, I have picked out some of the glasses to be in color. And the scissors tool is one of the best tools for this as it tries to find the edges of the glasses on our background layer here. And of course, you can drag each point to make sure it tries to find all of the different parts of the glasses. And then we'll go ahead and click inside to select it. And if we do that and then go back to our layer mask for our saturation layer, we can go in there and we can select the brush tool, make sure it's set to black because we're going to be painting on the layer mask so we can make the color shine through. And you can just start painting in those glasses there and make those glasses show up in actual color compared to the rest of the image. And that's just a very quick way of how to do digital black and white conversion in GIMP. 